What caused your last relationship to end? I was seeing this girl for about 3 months, and I thought things were going pretty well. One day, she texted me and tells me she needs a break from me. I tell her that I'm disappointed but I understand, and basically said goodbye. She then immediately tells me that she changed her mind and doesn't want a break. I feel like she was expecting me to beg or something, and when I didn't, she tried to take back what she said. So I tell her it's too late now, she wanted a break, now she's got it. Moral of the story, don't threaten to break up unless you're prepared to break up. She was insane. Extremely jealous, to the point of having a psychosis every time I left the building. She could get so upset she didn't know what she was doing. Like, blackout upset. Once she got upset, borrowed my phone, forgot that she did that and called the contact called mom. She called my mom, thinking it was her mom, had a whole crying conversation and hung up without noticing it wasn't her mom. She also accused me of cheating when I was 20 minutes late home from work I got caught up in a conversation for 10 minutes. Only the drive is 10 minutes. It was a friendship. He came up with a list of 9 things I've supposedly done to make him not like trust me anymore. That hit so hard because I realized I never truly had a friend to begin with. I cried at least three times a day. BTW it was in October, two weeks after mine and my sister's birthday, it would have been two years of friendship in a few months if this hadn't happened. I blame myself for not saying things sooner, but my mom said there was no way I could have. Even she wasn't expecting her daughter to be sent a vile message like that. She has CPTSD, and I wasn't educated in it, and I believe that was the cause. That and she wasn't seeking help. She just expected me to know how to deal with it even when she didn't know how. I was supposed to work on my ways of DOIG things but not herself. It was the CPTSD we both were being beat down from. I couldn't work on that. Only she could can. I will never understand what really went down TBH. It was all so confusing. My sexual orientation. Sometimes you really want to. But you just aren't able to physically. And then you need to stop lying to yourself make a plan. It always becomes about the other person's needs. If I could just do this that, change, I can make this work for them. But that is not fulfilling. It's an empty game. I look at straight couples and wish I could fit in like that, but then it dawns on me that it's just not going to be me. Perhaps this will be ignored but I welcome discussion. She said my frequent use of clarifying questions and repeating back to ensure I understood was condescending and pedantic. This behavior made her feel belittled and dumb because I used different words to flex my intelligence. These are direct quotes. It really just created a situation where I was too nervous to say anything ever and things really unraveled from there. We lived in a very unhealthy codependence type of relationship, but we didn't realize that until years and years had passed. She realized it first and left me. I realized it after that. It was the best for both of us, but it hurt like hell when it happened. The lesson here is work on yourselves people. You should at least try to be a functional human being without the need for someone else in your life. She never communicated and refused to help me find solutions to problems she had with me. I tried to suggest in solutions and she shot them down and would continuously get upset with me for the same shit. Never told me whenever she was upset and continued talking to me with an attitude until it turned into a whole fight. I swear it'll be screaming matches if it wasn't the long distance. She had a lot of anxiety OCD issues which caused her to live constantly thinking what if. I tend to be more illogical about things, which caused us to fight a lot. I lost all love for her when I suggested she see a professional, and she called me an asshole as if I said it was malicious. From then on, I refused to date someone that was unwilling to manage their mental illness. I realized I wasn't feeling it romantically at all while she constantly talked about being head over heels for me. We had a lot in common and I enjoyed spending time with her. But at one point I realized she might say I love you soon and it freaked me out. She was understanding and we parted ways on good terms, we just weren't compatible. An old friend appeared and she felt she wanted to true it with him. This was after they had been partying two or three weekends I had to travel. I'm 100 sure she cheated but at least she had the guts to end it. The timing was not good as I was in the worst time of my life work related and no, I did not brought the job problems home. This was a friendship, but it was one sided and it was all on my end. And I said some pretty hurtful, disgusting things that caused harm that I wish I never said to the person. I'm all full of regret, even though it happened in the past. I'm learning from my mistakes and getting advice so something like this never happens again. Same as every relationship. 
What appears to be a hard-working and dependable man turns out to be a man's child who trashes my house and always wants to borrow the car and always wants to borrow money and leaves his dirty socks all over the floor and can't find time to get a job but finds plenty of time to go fuck other women. I'm a targeted individual and she was just a honeypot sent to sabotage me and distract me from anything healthy and stop any progress from occurring in my life. But the sex was fucking great and it caused me to overly call her Sean and Ogans. If it weren't for her good lovin'. I'd have left her ass a long time ago. He just wanted to leave. I had no proof of him cheating or doing anything else but he was just not in love anymore. He's a good dad, that helps buffer the pain a little. I've spent too much time taking inventory wondering what I did or could have done. I hate when someone says it's not you it's me bullshit. She caught an attitude, stopped cooking, cleaning and throwing it back. I met a bad young ting. She started out as my side chick but she impressed me so much I promoted her to main squeeze and bounced on my ex. X200B. One of the best decisions I've ever made, life is so much more peaceful now, A OK. I asked him, are you happy with us? He answered, yes, I am. He didn't ask me. I have a feeling that he did not ask me back because he knows my answer. He is a grown up man. I mean, we both are grown up. So, yeah. I am keeping him happy. It's nice to know that I can keep a man happy. Financial infidelity racking up credit cards after repeatedly telling me she wouldn't anymore. Or was like cheating on me but with our family's future at stake. Now she's bankrupt, I have full custody, and living the dream W a new lady who sees a world similar to me. True life partner. He acted like a teenage boy, used drugs cooking, didn't get a thing in the household, stole money even our one year old at the time lied and acted like everything was normal. 10 years of my life wasted with this guy. Now happily married to a wonderful man. We grew apart over time and became roommates. I still think she's a great person, but we just didn't know the sparks for each other. We lived together for 8 years and I have no regrets. Hope we can both find something that'll suit the people we become now, hugging face. My last ex expected me to take care of her in every way. She didn't cook, help clean the house, wash dishes do laundry nothing. I did everything, she refused to drive. She refused to eat unless I fed her. She was like a baby, we broke up during the lockdown. Parents kicked me out of the house when I was 17 and I couch surfed for a while. He called me to say he couldn't handle being with someone in such a chaotic situation. Sucks for him though, next guy I met I married and have been with for 11 years, hard. He wanted 5 kids I wanted 0 kids. This topic came up, when they said you're getting as much traveling for work. Before you start popping kids. At this point we've been dating 3 months. Haven't talked about moving in together or marriage. I say it was the broken dustpan but really it was the realization that I had spent all weekend cleaning while someone was living in my house and off my support with literally nothing but free time and he never helped and hadn't for a decade. She lived in my town, ship lasted for about 2 years 3 months, but then she had a transfer. Long distance continued for two months, but then she stopped talking altogether. Got to know from our mutual friend that she has another BF now. My sister showed her true colors when we had to clean out my mother's house before she went to assisted living. She was a flake to begin with, so this gave me an out to cut ties, other than a biological link. Those days are gone. He was moving out of town and we didn't think we could really make that work and we were both trying to work on ourselves to be the best version of ourselves. So we agreed to pause our relationship but stay in touch and be friends. He was too insecure and I'm too much of a dismissive avoidant. He would be the perfect boyfriend for most women though. Caring, thoughtful, intelligent, handsome. Hope he finds his own version of happiness soon. The guy was 32 going on 8, I discovered. He didn't call me, I got busy and didn't miss him I started to be really upset about how he thought about women. I got rid of a bunch of people including Jason. It's the old cliche. My ex-husband and I just grew apart. Plus the presence of complex PTSD baggage on my side. Luckily we get along really well now, we have kids and it's the best thing for all of us. Same thing that happened on the previous relationship. She decided to sleep with a co-worker. Apparently I'm not into blondes or redheads, just women who fuck their co-workers while dating me. I moved to the city where he lived, finally ending the long distance part of our relationship and he was more interested in spending time with his wow guild running braids than seeing me. She fell out of love with me. She was honest and told me, I couldn't ask for more it was the right decision as my life has changed so much and I've learned so much about myself. It was 4 months old. I never tolerate a relationship longer than 4 months, 
because that's usually when the first idiotic fight comes. And when that happens, it's GTFO time for me. I'm gay and I think you kind of figured it out. Was amicable. He is doing well in his home country, I'm with the girl of my dreams. Wish him all the best TBH. She was a great guy. She lived in Italy. I did not. That was true when we met and we decided to give it a go, knowing it had a very high chance of not working out, and it didn't work out. X told me things got too hard when I got really sick and my life changed drastically. Met my wife soon after and she has always accepted me for who I am not who I was. My relationship I forced myself to ditch a girl because she was screwing around with me. X200B My friendship A friend was forced by his parents to leave me. Was in a male on male relationship. Called it off because I wasn't in the right state of mind. He starts to spread that I'm a shitty person and nearly ruins my life. I could no longer handle her anxiety and outbursts. 10 years of yelling and going from 0 to 100 in an instant wore me down. But that's my side of things. Homie got bored so I dip lol I'm now stuck in this weird mentality that every man will get bored of me that I did not have prior to that relationship. Relieved face. His daughter 16 at the time hated me because she didn't want her father to date. As much as I liked her dad, I wasn't going to hang around for that. He was getting mad at everything and always shouted at me and used insults. He also tried to blame me every time he made a mistake. Cheating and it was an abusive relationship thought it will be better soon but it didn't so I got out as soon as I found out. He got his cousin pregnant. The way he explained it was it's not his cousin but it's his dad's brother's wife's daughter. Got too comfortable and was a hassle to do basic things like go on a date, trip. Also started drinking way way too much, 